Welcome to Sai International Airport. A very good morning to one and all present here. I'm Aditri Mishra and today I'm going to present a few models and the PPT on the topic Aerodynamics in Airplanes. So without any further ado, let's get into. So I've made three models. So the first model over here is a paper aircraft. Then we have a runway of the Sai International Airport. And lastly, we have a model of an airplane and all its forces along with aerofoil shape. Now let us have a look at a PPT. Aerodynamics in airplanes, various types of paper airplanes that can be made. What is the meaning of aerodynamics? Aerodynamics definition. Aerodynamics is the way air moves around things. The rule of aerodynamics explains how an airplane is able to fly. Anything that moves through air reacts to aerodynamics. Now let's move on to the next slide and know more. Now let's know how does an airplane's wings provide lift? The shape of an airplane's wings is what makes it able to fly. Airplane's wings are curved at the top and flatter on the bottom. So let me show it even clearly. So this is a wing and it is curved on the top and flatter on the bottom as we can see. So less air pressure is on the top of the wing. This condition makes the wing and the airplane it's attached to move up. Using curves to change air pressure is a trick used on many aircrafts. Now let's go and see what the next slide says. Aerofoil shape. This is the aerofoil shape. High speed, remember, high speed is reduced pressure and low speed is increased pressure and this creates lift in our airplanes. It's all due to this aerofoil shape. Now let's move on to the next slide and let's know how do airplanes fly? Well, there are four forces of flight. They are lift, weight or gravity, thrust and drag. These forces make an object move up and down faster and slower. What is weight? Let us know what weight is. Everything on earth has a weight. This force comes from gravity pulling down objects. To fly, an aircraft needs something to push it in the opposite direction from gravity. The weight of an object controls how strong the push has to be. Now let us know what is lift. As I said earlier, lift is a push that lets something move up. It is a force that is the opposite of weight. Everything that flies must have lift. For an aircraft to move upward, it must have more lift than weight. Lift for an aircraft, airplane comes from its wings. What is drag? In simple words, drag is the frictional force. Drag is a force that tries to slow something down. It makes it hard for an object to move. Most strong surfaces have less drag than flat ones. Narrow surfaces usually have less drag than wide ones. The more air that hits a surface, the more drag it makes. So in simple words, drag means frictional force. 
Now let us know what thrust is. What is thrust? Thrust is the force that is the opposite of drag. Thrust is a push that moves something forward. As you see, it moves something forward. For an aircraft to keep moving, it must have more thrust than drag. A small airplane might get its thrust from a propeller. This is an example of a small airplane and this is its propeller. So this airplane will get its thrust from a propeller. A larger airplane might get its thrust from jet engines. So jet engines are usually over here. So from there, a larger airplane gets its thrust. So now let us have a look at all the videos of different aerodynamics in paper airplanes. These are the live examples of different paper airplanes. But before that, let us know a fact. Did you know small wing size equals more speed and large wing size equals to less speed? For example, this is a classic model of an airplane in which we all travel. But this moves quite slow, right? Well, this is because of its large wings. But whereas if we have a look at the fighter jets, then they move quite faster. This is an example of a fighter jet. Or these are also the examples of a fighter jet. Now let's see the first video. The first video is of Phoenix. This is the smoothest paper airplane. Let's see the video. So as you see in this video, Phoenix glides really nicely. Why? It is because of the stability. And it also has a smooth landing. Now let's see the next video. This next video is of the Speed Rover. As you see in this video, Speed Rover is quite fast but has less stability and so it isn't gliding. The next video is my personal favorite of Mira HQ. This is like a butterfly. Let us see what the video shows. So as you see in this video, this flaps. Yes, it flaps like a bat. So it has quite a few stability, but not as much as Phonix. The last one, but not the least, is the tornado. Why did I call this as the tornado? Well, I call this as the tornado because it moves really nicely, it glides a lot and it flips and flops. Let us have a look at this video. So in these videos, you have observed something, right? Well, we have observed how different aerodynamics react to different and various shapes and sizes of these paper airplanes. This entire aircraft looks like a fish, right? The design is either aerofoil or a streamlined shape. Streamlined shapes usually help flights. For example, a falcon, a bird, all these have streamlined bodies, so that's why they fly very nicely. So the same here. But now I'm going to show the, a working model. So in this working model, I'm going to show how lift occurs in the airplane's wings. So here I have my hairdryer and now 
I'm going to stop.